Good morning, good morning guys. We're back at it again at another location. Damn, we are getting so fancy on this channel. So we're at my buddy Ty Moser's place. I follow him on Instagram. He's also got a YouTube channel, so if you want to check that out, it's called the Mono Loco, Mono Loco Workshop. Mono but, Loco. What's that? Mono Loco. Mo Did I say it wrong? Mono Loco Workshop. So I'll leave some links in the description box and then in the comments section below if you want to check out Ty's stuff. He hasn't posted a YouTube video in over a year, so we've got to convince them to keep doing it. Because he's got some cool shit going on out here. So I live in you know, kind of the Phoenix area here. So we have a lot of trees coming down in people's backyards. Um, we got people that call us up. So we have a trailer over there. We'll go and we'll collect the logs. We'll bring them back here. Or we'll have people that will come and drop them off off to mill stuff for them. So what we'll do here is we'll come and we'll put the mill or the logs up on the sawmill and we'll mill them up into slabs. And then after they're milled into slabs, we usually do about two inch slabs, but we'll do custom stuff as well. And then we'll stick them over on the sidewall over there and we'll let them dry. Uh, in the desert, we kind of live in a kiln, so we, it actually dries too fast. So we actually try to slow it down, but still in about a year to two years, we'll have dry wood and then we will start building furniture out of it, building tables or selling it. That was like the best intro ever. <laughs> so I see a lot of his Instagram videos when he's, you know, felling trees and, Man, you got a lot of freaking, you got a lot of wood out here. This is awesome. So I've upgraded this little area. Uh, I kind of have like a little outside workshop out here by the sawmill. I used to have a tent. We used to have uh, what we call the pumice room and a couple little sheds. Well, the roof blew off the tent. So we upgraded it and now we call it a shack. We have a little tin shack out here. And on the back, we call this the, uh, the pumice room back here and, or the cookie room. Ooh. So this is where we store some of our stuff that we want to be a little more delicate with drying. So here we have about 20 to 25 three inch thick cookies. Uh, this is all Mediterranean olive, probably about 70 year old trees. Ironwood, mesquite, Indian rosewood. Wow. Lots and lots of olive. Some cool shit you got going on here, man. You, you gotta show this stuff on YouTube. There's random stuff all over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big swinger like these big logs here, but I do have some nice mesquite logs. Um, I had to cut down one tree and then just trim up another tree. So we're gonna mill these guys up. I don't know what we're gonna be able to get out of it, but we'll get something. We'll get something out of it. All right. The, the smaller ones are usually a little bit harder to clamp up, but not too bad. They're they're long enough to where they'll fit in between everything, so. Right on. And before we get started with today's video, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be at the Homesteading Life Conference in Hannibal, Missouri. It's being put on by Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. I presented at this event last year. It was a great time. It is August 4th and 5th, which is a Sunday and Monday. Hannibal is just a, a few hour drive from St. Louis, but I met people you know, there's people, I think, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, that came to the event as well. So if you're interested in this off-grid homesteading lifestyle, there's going to be so many great people to be able to connect with. Um, there's awesome workshops and presenters this year. Hannibal is the birthplace of Mark Twain. There's a lot of history in the town, so if you want to bring your family, uh, there's just a lot of little things that you can do outside of the event as well, so you can make it into a nice little vacation. And it's being hosted inside of a theater in Hannibal, which is really nice because it's air conditioned, which is very much appreciated in the hot, humid summer in Missouri and it's going to be a great event had a great time last year so definitely check it out link in the description box and in the comment section as well grab some tickets and i hope to see you there Right there, yeah. 
I mean, that's going to basically come on right underneath your sapwood there. Sure. And we may not get a level cut all the way across. We'll yeah. see what that ends up. Cool.
got all the milled slabs back here. And I know it's not a ton of wood and they're not super thick or super big, but um, it made more sense to me to mill these logs up and to use them for a future woodworking project rather than just split them up and burn them as firewood. So we'll definitely be able to get some pretty cool stuff out of it because we've got lots of one inch and also some two inch slabs as well with some of the thicker pieces of, uh, of wood that we had. But this is all beautiful mesquite and it's going to uh, make for some interesting projects in the future. Maybe some like knife handles, maybe some wooden utensils, something like that. And I don't know if I'm really going to be getting into milling wood and stuff like that in the future. Who knows? But it does seem like a, a bit of an expensive hobby to get into. But at the end of the day, um, you can get a lot of beautiful wood out of maybe some fallen trees uh, that are local in your area. That's essentially what Ty does. Um, he just goes and collects, you know, fallen down trees, which is a great way of repurposing the wood and giving it a second, uh, second chance at life. Awesome guys, make sure you check out Ty's channel, leave some comments on his videos, encourage him to keep posting videos, um, because he's got a really cool setup, he does have a full-time job, so that's why he isn't able to post so much on YouTube. But he's got some great stuff out there and he's got lots of interesting tools, so let's hope that he posts some more videos. Awesome, thanks so much for watching guys, we'll catch you on the next video, talk to you soon. Peace. <laughs>